Hey everybody, how you doing? Um, today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm usually doing vintage analog stuff like reel to reels and tape decks and records and stuff like that. But today I just discovered a whole new love. Um, it's the mini disc. Mini discs are so awesome. Um, never had one before I just went and I picked up one and uh, all of a sudden it turned into like five different ones uh, I originally bought this guy off of eBay actually uh, it's a recorder paid like 70 bucks for it and it was cool it didn't really work that great when I first got it all the buttons were jacked up but I sprayed some deoxid on them and worked them out and now it works perfect it's it's pretty darn cool for a portable player slash recorder, um, but that's that's the main, the Sony. The Sony is, uh, you know, they invented mini disc. Um, that guy there is just a player. This guy here, that's that's a recorder, and I'm going to show you how it works. It was seriously like by far the most convenient efficient way to record digitally I've ever seen in my life um, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and show you how to do all of that so here we go so I've already made quite a few mini discs this way um, what's so cool about them is you can record over them like up to a million times it says so I got with the deal I ended up getting like I don't know a whole bunch of mini discs with it. it came with like 30 mini discs so here we go I'm gonna show you what's up you take your mini disc you put it in right you say it's, it sees it says reading so it's gonna come up no name I'm gonna hit edit menu oh this one's protected that brings me to another point so after you record on it that little tab right there close it when you open it it makes it protected so you can't accidentally record back over it but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and edit it we're gonna go to edit menu and change it to all erase and say yes voila you have a blank disc so next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick something that we want to play or something to record so i just went ahead and i went into my music library on my computer and i picked out black sabbath paranoid and we're going to go ahead and just record it onto here and i'm going to show you how simple it is all right <clears throat> so i got the music all queued up and ready to go so first what we're going to do is we're going to hit record now this goes into record standby mode so you can go ahead and check the level of the input or whatever um, I already have it all set up so I'm not going to do all that so I'm just going to go back here I'm going to go ahead and push record and then I'm going to start the track on the computer and push play and that starts the record and so this is track one <clears throat> I got it going through headphones uh, rather than hooking this guy up to a receiver somewhere and speakers and everything I just it's easier this way and this one doesn't have a headphone jack the other two that I got in the deal do so uh, I don't know I'll probably start using those at some point but I gotta give them a little maintenance and love before I can start doing that so anyways I'm gonna speed this up um, it's going to go to I'm gonna get all the way to the end of the song to where it's gonna change and if you watch right when the song breaks now now it starts a new track it's freaking awesome It gets to the end of the song and makes a new one. Alright, so now 
We've got it all recorded. Well, I just did it for demo purposes. I only did four tracks, not even the whole track. But now, if you push menu, go to edit menu and scroll back to name, name in, name in disc. Okay, we're going to put in the disc name. So it's Black Sabbath. You see how I'm, yeah. So on and so forth. And then once you're done, you hit the yes and then it's there BL complete so now when you hit this if I hit Black Sabbath all the way which showed it and you can go through name every single track um, you can move tracks around you can delete an individual track you can edit the names continuously over and over again and uh, that's about it so it says TOC writing, so it's right in the table of contents as uh, you're rejecting it. And so now I've got another copy of Black Sabbath. So it's going to come up. It's loading. No, Black Sabbath. And push play. And right, skip the track. so on and so forth so as I was saying mini discs are my new true love uh, in the deal I picked up these two more those are the other ones one of them's got a little issue when you put a disc in or actually when there's not a disc in it it sounds like it's trying to eject and goes clank 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 but when there's a disc in it it's just fine um, with that I got this dat which is pretty dope. Have I showed you my laser disc player? Oh, I love it. I just got that. I'll have to do a video on that. Um, and anywho. So if you've never had or used a mini disc player or recorder, I highly suggest you do. It's great. I mean, the little portable deal I got, people take to concerts, they have microphones, and it sounds wonderful. It's just the easiest way far easy I mean burning a CD is pretty easy but the way that this is so versatile and all the different things that you can do with it and the naming of it and everything else is great the only downfall is it's converting it to a track a T R A C K um, format which I, remember the Sony PSP those were technically mini discs pretty much uh, a little bit different shape but they were the same thing the a track uh, format so if you want to rip music back off of it you're gonna need to convert it over back to either mp3 or whatever if you want any players to play it um, as time went along more and more players started playing the a track but it's still eh, hit or miss um, anyways thanks for joining me. I'm on vacation this week so I'm gonna do a few videos. Uh, I'm always trying to buy up all the forms of media that I can. Uh, I want to have every recording device and that's my goal. So I'm getting there and hope you guys have a great solar eclipse day. Ah, Yeah today was solar eclipse. Anywho uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Be safe. Bye-bye. Like and subscribe.